How does the barcode work? This code scanner emits a laser beam. The black module absorbs the beam and the white module reflects it. If it reflects, then it's zero. If not, it's one because computers work with binary data. This barcode has a total of 95 zeros and ones, which is divided into 15 parts. The first three columns on the left and the last three columns on the right represent the barcode start and end, and the five columns in the center separate the left and right sides. On the left and right sides, there are 42 zeros and ones, which are again divided into six groups of seven numbers. For the left side, the numbers range from 0 to 9 have this specific code, which starts from 0 and ends with 1. And for the right side, it has this specific code, which starts from 1 and ends with 0. On the left, there are odd numbers of 1, and on the right, there are even numbers of 1. This is necessary because the code can be scanned bottom-up, and if there are an even number of 1s on the left and an odd number of 1s on the right, then a decoder recognizes it has been scanned bottom-up and then flips it. Now, if you compare all of the 7 numbers to their corresponding code, then we will get a single digit. The first digit identifies the barcode type. The following 5 digits represent the manufacturer. The last 5 digits encode the product. The final digit serves as a checksum to detect errors during the decoding. For that, the decoder uses this procedure. First, it adds all of the odd numbers and then multiplies the sum by 3. Again, add the result to the sum of the even numbers. Now take the highest number that is close to the final result which can be divided by 10 and subtract it. If the result is equal to the last encoded digit, then decoding is correct. Otherwise, there is an error while decoding. And sometimes the barcode could be ruined or scratched. And in such cases, the system should avoid giving incorrect information.